Sometimes filmmakers hide obscure in-jokes so subtly that it takes a few viewings to spot them, if you're able to spot them at all. These hidden gags might just make you want to watch these flicks all over again. Shaun of the Dead Spoilerific Beginning The zombie horror comedy Shaun of the Dead opened the Cornetto trilogy with a hilarious look at how a British slacker and his pub-loving friends handled the zombie apocalypse. But if that lovable loser Shaun could speak Hindi, he might have been clued into the impending zombie apocalypse when he went to the convenience store. Nelson. Why are you about 15p? The radio broadcast in the store actually reveals that the dead are coming back to life and attacking people. That joke is so well hidden, it's practically buried treasure. Night Owl saves the wings. The opening sequence of Watchmen has a pretty awesome reference to a famous caped crusader. Check the frame featuring Night Owl punching a masked gunman outside of an opera house, the Gotham Opera House. Yes, it's Batman's origin. In the background is a rich couple, clearly meant to be Bruce Wayne's parents, Thomas and Martha. The opera bills read D. Flittermouse, German for the Bat. And just to make the joke a little more obvious, several posters advertise the first issue of the Batman comic book on the wall as well. Holy Easter eggs, Batman! Sherman and Peabody. There's a subtle reference to other time travelers in Back to the Future, but you wouldn't get the joke unless you stayed in the theater. When Marty travels to 1955, he crashes the DeLorean into the Peabody's family barn. The members of the Peabody family poke their heads into the barn, at which point that little boy claims that Marty's time machine is actually a UFO. If you watch through the credits, you'll see that the boy's name is Sherman, Sherman Peabody, a reference to the cartoon time travelers Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Quickly, Sherman! Unlike the DeLorean crashing into the barn, that joke flew right over most viewers' heads. Lord Farquaad. Even though he's in a movie for kids, Lord Farquaad from Shrek was given that name to get a laugh out of the adults. If you didn't catch the joke, here's a hint. Try saying his name over and over. I am Lord Farquaad. Lord Farquaad? Farquaad, Farquaad, Farquaad. That's right, he's a complete quad. Imagine how Disney chief Michael Eisner felt considering the villain was reportedly based on him. The Despicable Lehman Brothers? While the financial crisis of 2008 wasn't funny, the creators of Despicable Me thought a joke about it wouldn't hurt. If you have eagle eyes, you probably notice that when Gru enters the Bank of Evil to get a loan, there's a small sign that reads, formerly Lehman Brothers, a jab at the global financial services firm that went bankrupt and filed for Chapter 11 in 2008. Kevin Smith's Jaws References Director Kevin Smith is a film buff, and he likes to show it. One proof? He sneaks a boatload of Jaws references into his films, like the clerk Salsa Shark, and Mallrats characters Brody Bruce and T.S. Quint, and Chasing Amy's Hooper X. He even takes it a step further in Chasing Amy with an homage to the scene where Jaws characters compare scars. The twist? Instead of showing battle wounds, Banky and Alyssa compare scars they received while romancing the ladies. I need a bigger boat. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw, and leave us a comment to let us know which obscure movie jokes you think should have made the list.